Introduction to Frictional Forces. Friction enables us to carry out most of our daily activities. We cannot walk, write, or even hold a pencil without friction. While the aircraft lands, it is acted upon by different frictional forces. Friction between the tires on the runway, friction in the braking system, and also air friction. In this lesson, you will be able to learn about frictional forces, classify frictional forces into two types, Understand that the action of frictional forces maintains a body in equilibrium and understand that the static frictional force has maximum value of mu as r known as limiting static friction. A wooden block resting on a <laughs> table is attached to a Click the weights one by one to place it on the pan and observe the graph. As the weights are placed on the pan, tension T acts on the block, which is balanced by the frictional force F. In the opposite direction, the block remains at rest. Click the sixth weight to place it on the pan and observe the change in the graph. Just before the block starts to move, frictional force reaches the maximum value. This maximum value is known as the limiting static friction. Ladies and gentlemen, the maximum, uh, the limiting static friction is the maximum frictional force acting at the instant be just before the body start to move. That means that easier, that means that if any forces more than this value, that means any action more than this maximum friction, this object will start to move. The frictional force that acts when the block starts to move, which is less than the limiting static friction, is known as the dynamic or kinetic friction. An experiment could be carried out to show the relationship between the limiting static friction, Fs, and the weight of the block. The weight of the block equals the normal reaction, R. A graph of Fs against R is shown. From the graph, we observe that there is a linear relationship between the normal reaction, R, and the limiting static friction, Fs. The gradient of the graph is the coefficient of static friction mu s. Fs equals mu sr, where fs is the limiting static friction, r is the normal reaction, mu s is the coefficient of static friction. Observe the movement of the ball. The ball comes to rest due to rolling friction between the ball and the grass, which opposes the motion of the ball. In some cases, friction is undesirable as it causes wear and tear and loss of energy. For example, when two meshing gears move, there is a friction between the teeth of the gears that are in sliding contact. To reduce this undesirable friction, lubricants are used. Click the play button and observe the movement of a bicycle.
when the cyclist applies the brakes, a frictional force acts between the wheel and the brake. This stops the bicycle. This is an example where friction is desirable. Summary. Sliding friction is classified into two types, that is, static friction and dynamic or kinetic friction. Static friction varies with the external force. Dynamic friction has a constant value and is less than the limiting static friction. The ratio of limiting static friction to the normal reaction is called the coefficient of limiting static friction. The force that opposes rolling motion is known as rolling friction. There are some cases where friction is desirable. For example, the braking system in vehicles. In some other cases, friction is undesirable. For example, rotation of gears in machines. Click the play button to observe a man climbing a mountain. If he wants to take rest, he balances himself on the sides of the rock. He is in equilibrium because of the frictional forces that act between his limbs and the rock surface. The picture shows a crate lying on an inclined plane with an angle of inclination theta. Click the play button to observe what happens if there is no friction between the crate and the inclined plane. The crate slides down due to the component mg sine theta of the weight of the crate along the plane. R is the normal reaction that acts on the crate, which balances the component mg cos theta of the weight. If the crate is in static equilibrium, there needs to be a frictional force F acting between the crate and the inclined plane given by F equals mg sine theta. Okay, static equilibrium means that a body is in the static equilibrium if it is stationary or no resultant force at on it. That means that in stationary, that means that the V equal to zero ms negative one, the A also equal to zero ms negative one. That means not, no, not moving. But another example is no resultant force at on it. No resultant force and add on it, that means no acceleration. But the object possible maybe is moving. So when the, when the object is moving with a constant speed or constant velocity, where the acceleration is zero, so we can say that the object also in the static equilibrium. Okay, also in the state of equilibrium. Click and drag the values into the appropriate boxes to calculate the static friction. Calculate F and click compare to check your answer. This means that an object, when we put on the inclined plane, automatically, naturally, it will slide down due to the gravity. Because we always have a uh, a component of wet. The wet which is always at downwards. So this means that this will be the wet. The wet is due to the mg. So mg is due to the gravity. So from here, we can set that this angle, if this is delta, that means that this angle will be equal to delta. So this means that for the resolution of the force, here we get the mg cos delta, and this will be the mg sin delta. Without any friction force, if there's no friction force, this means that mg sin delta will be the uh, resultant 
force that act on this block to move down. So to enable this system in the equilibrium state or in stationary state, this means that the F must be equal to mg sin delta. So F is equal to mg sin delta. This means that from here, let's say the mass is 5 kg, G is 9.81, angle is sin 30. So how much is it? So by using the calculator, we get that it will be 5 times 9.81 times sin 30. So this means 24.53. So we we get that. Okay. Mm. Summary. Okay, I can I can I can fill in the values value. to the appropriate boxes to calculate the static friction. Calculate F and click compare to check your answer. Okay, so this means I get that is 24.52. So this means that okay, uh round off. At the end, it will become 25 Newton. Summary. In many situations, the action of frictional force maintains a body in static equilibrium. A creek stays at rest on an inclined plane due to static friction between the creek and the inclined plane. The component of the weight along the plane is less than the limiting static friction. Ladies and gentlemen, as a result, we notice that the sliding friction. Sliding friction is classified into two types. Example, static friction and also the dynamic or the kinetic friction. Friction, we have two types. One, the friction causes the object. Okay, the friction uh, act on the object when the object is in stationary. There's no motion. Another one is the friction act on the system when the object is moving. So we call that that is the uh, dynamic friction or kinetic friction. Static friction varies with the external force, where the dynamic friction has a constant value and is always less than the limiting static force. So the ratio of limiting static friction to the normal reaction is called the coefficient of the limiting static friction, a constant. The force that oppose the rolling motion is known as the rolling friction. And there are some cases where friction is desirable. For example, the braking system of the vehicle. In some other cases, friction is, un, uh, is under is undesirable, for example, the rotation of the gear in machine. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to some of the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the question. So from here, how we apply the uh, concept what we learned just now. So we go through the question first. Ladies and gentlemen, we notice that a box is placed on a floor, on the floor of a train. If the box start to slide, when the train moves with an acceleration, calculate the acceleration of the train. This means that start to Raw, uh, start to move right. That means that it will have the maximum, okay, maximum frictional force. Okay, now 
from here, okay, let me go through the, Okay, now let's say that. Let's go to the whiteboard. From here, we can set that the force F is equal to M A. Where this force, if just okay, start moving, right? So that means that the F is equal to MA, which is must be less or equal to the frictional force limiting station, uh, stationary, okay, static friction, limiting static friction. So times with the R, where ladies and gentlemen, we use R equal to MG, because when an object is in stationary, no matter how, the normal reaction force is equal to mg. Where the frictional force, frictional force F is equal to mu times with R. This will be the formula. So from here, the R is equal to mg because the, not, we use the normal reaction, right? So from here, we can set that the A. A from the F equal to MA. F equal to MA, way equal or less than mu S R is equal to MG, right? Cancel the M, where we get that A maximum will be either less than or equal, right? Equal, that means maximum will be equal to mu S times with G, okay? So from here, given that, what is the A? A maximum. Given that the limiting static force is equal to 0 0.15. Given that the coefficient of the static between the box and the floor of the trend is equal to 0 0.15. So that means A maximum will be equal to 0 0.15 times with 9.81 ms negative 2. So we get that 0 0.15 times 9.81. So it's equal to the maximum acceleration is equal to 1.15. 1.4715 ms negative 2. And now let's go to the question number 2. Question number 2 show that a cyclist riding at 18 km per hour on a lever, rod takes a sharp circular turn of radius 3 meter without reducing the speed. The coefficient of static friction between the tire and the rod is 1, a constant of 1. Will the cyclist slip while taking the turns? Ladies and gentlemen, here will involve a force, another force we call that is the frictional force. Where the frictional force, we will learn it in the next chapter. So I just give the example. So no matter how the cyclist, the F, the force, yeah? Force is equal to minus, okay, uh, mu S R. This is the friction force. The friction force must be equal. So that means that from here, the what will be the for the what is that for the uh, equilibrium? That means force equal to mu naught r. 
So from here, this force refer to centripetal force is equal to mu s r. What is the formula of the centripetal force? The symbol we use Fc. Fc is equal to mu s r. That means that this is the maximum centripetal force. So mv square over r will be equal to mu s r. Mu s r. Meanwhile, we replace everything into the formula. Where the R is equal to mg, right? So from here, we will get that. V. What is the V square? V square will be equal to mu s this re uh, replaced with mg okay so times with r mu s r times with the r divided by m so from here v square because r is equal to mg so that means mu s m g r over m so the m we can cancel each other at the end we get that the v square is equal to mu s r g so ladies and gentlemen okay so from here they give us the question said that when it's moved okay a mass it moved with 18 kilometer per hour so from here at 10 kilometer per hour, that means that is the speed. Speed is equal to 18 times 10 to the power 3 meter. Over one hour is 3600 second. So that means that at 10, the power 3 over 3600, I get that we get that is 5 ms negative 1. Okay, so that means now it's moved with 5 ms negative one we want to compare this means that the maximum speed okay here will be equal to five ms negative one so from here what will be the if move like that what will be so v square is equal to mu mu is equal to how much the mu s coefficient uh, the okay the constant coefficient constant is equal to one times with the radius of three meter and G is 9.81, compare the V. So V is equal to how much? That means it will be 9.81, okay, times three. So 29.43, square root of 29.43. I get that V is equal to 5.4 to five, ms negative one therefore the v v is 5.43 so that means that maximum v maximum is 4.5 5.4 to 5 ms negative 1, but the moving speed. Okay, this to find the, to find the maximum speed. Maximum speed is 5.425, but now just 5 ms negative 1 only, right? That means that as a result, we can set that this still in the safe condition, okay? So this means that sin
So that means that same the V is equal to the moving speed is 5 ms negative 1, which is less than 5 ms negative 1 or 18 km per hour. So the cyclist is set. The cyclist will not slip, will not fall down at the corner. Next, we move to question number three. Let's go to the question number three. A mass of four kg rests on a horizontal plane. The plane is gradually inclined when the angle of inclination is 15 degree while the horizontal the mass begins to slide so this means that it starts to move yeah so what is the coefficient of static between the block and the surface now let's say they is an object on the inclined plane. So I need a plane. Let's say it's like that. Now, an object is lying on the inclined plane. where this is the mg and this will be the angle where as we know that this will be the angle and this will be mg cos delta here this component will be mg sin delta with a normal reaction force of r okay so Yang Wei, okay, coefficient of static friction. That is a constant of the uh, frictional force where will cause the object in stationary. Okay, this means that maximum, uh, maximum uh, friction force that will cause the object to stay in stationary. If the object initially is in the stationary condition. So now this means that what is the F? Ladies and gentlemen, the question asks us to find out what is the coefficient of the static, right? So this means that as we know that from here, in equilibrium set. Where mg sin delta is equal to the F plus. And we have again, the mg cos delta will be equal to the R. Right. So from here, if we wish to solve, what will be the angle? So I use I solve the simultaneous equation. Yeah, I use the equation. Okay, one over two. This means that mg sin delta over mg cos delta will be equal to f over r. This means that I will get that 10 delta equal to f over r. Given that the r, okay? So this means that from here, 10 delta will be equal to f over r. Hey, what is that, yeah? 
from the formula f is equal to mu ah correct or not that means that f over r is equal to mu f over r is equal to mu put it in that means that tan delta will be equal to the constant okay it will be equal to the okay uh, static limitation so from here because the angle delta is equal to so this means that mu is equal to consider is equal to 10 15 so 10 15 is equal to how much we get that it will be 0 0.2 Seven nine four. So that means that mu is equal to zero point two six seven nine without any uh, unit because it is a constant. So that means that this mu s is the coefficient of static friction. So that means it's just a constant. Next question number four. A flowing, the flowing diagram show a block of mass of 20 kg being pulled by a lot 10 kg. Given that the coefficient of kinetic frictions between, okay, no matter how is kinetic friction or not, that is a friction. So if kinetic friction, coefficient of kinetic friction and coefficient of static friction, kinetic, that means when the object is moving, the friction act on the object when the object is moving. If coefficient of static friction, that means that is the friction act on the object when the object initially is in the stationary okay, position. So calculate the expression of the block and the tension in the string where are ah, this given that they said that g assume that g is equal to 10 ms negative one okay so assume that 10 that is okay the g is equal to 10 ms negative two so we just use the 10 equal to okay ms negative two so ladies and gentlemen let's go okay to the words file then how we need to solve this type of question. Initially, this means that this object is 20 kg. It's pulling on a flock. It's attached to a lot of 100 Newton. Where this will be the tension of the string, Okay, we assume that this is free. The pulley is frictionless, none of any friction. So this means that here there will be a FK. So this will be the frictional okay, coefficient of the kinetic friction. Now how to solve it? In this question, we want to find out, calculate the acceleration of the block and the tension of the string. So this means that what we need to find, find the acceleration of the object and the tension is equal to how much? Ladies and gentlemen, when we solve this type of question, this means that this will have a okay a wet which caused by mg okay so this object mg will be here like this how to solve it first we make it into linear let's say this is the object of 20 kg is pulling 
by a lot of 100 Newton, where this is mg, right? mg is equal to 100 times 10, so it will be 1,000 Newton. 1,000 Newton. And is at by a friction.